my name's Lance. Welcome to Bundy Bear Shed. Well, look, today we're going to try and make the exhaust valve spring on the one-third scale Fairbanks engine. Now, the video previous to this, we actually got the inlet valve spring made after quite a bit of mucking around and a bit of learning. Um, that there was 20 thou thick wire and 14 coils on the taper on that, on that mandrel we made. The exhaust spring is made out of, it should be 63 thou wire, I couldn't find 63, we found 62, so we're happy with that. And what we'll do is follow along from the last spring we made, and we'll use the, the Chinesium tool holder with the piece of poly pipe in it again. Can you see that pipe here? Yeah. Just a little bit of polythene pipe off an oil gauge and that holds the tension on the wire but with the other one where it was 18 thou or 20 thou thick wire 14, um, 14 coils to the spring this is 62 thou wire and it's only 8 so we'll see we'll, we'll see if we can set the lathe up to run it through and um, I found with making this spring the little coils down the bottom end, a lot of them had to be chopped off because they wouldn't fit in the valve holder properly. So we're probably best to keep it up the fat end if we can. So the first eight or ten coils there, we'll see how we go. Okay, we'll get a bend in him. And get him started. It's hard to see down, I'll change my position a little bit. Okay, we've got a couple there to play with. Right, not looking too bad. We'll tidy him up and see what we got. Well, look at that. One spring done. Doesn't look too bad. There's quite a bit more tension on that than the other. And I think you can hear it snapping shut. So we have the collets in, the valves all finished. That's a good job. Okay, time for something else. <laughs> 